May God speak to us this morning. May God speak to us this morning. Let me complete this. We do good things. We don't do right things. You know, if we come to, again, my subject to uh, 1 Samuel, we choose in chapter 15, verse 33. He says, Obedience is better than sacrifice. What he did to obey is, God said, Hey, kill all the Amalekites. It's uh, everything destroyed. But he says, I didn't do it because I wanted all the good cattle to give sacrifice to God. He's not doing bad things. Oh, God. I, I tell you, 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 your life will change. He's not doing bad things. He's thinking, he, he, God said destroy everything, but he destroyed some and he kept some and he said, no, 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 this is for the Lord. He's saying good, but not good. You do right thing. Right thing is killing is the right thing, but he did not kill. He kept something saying, that, hey, I'm doing good, Sanyo. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm getting all the fatty cows and uh, fatty cattle to give uh, offering to the Lord. I'm doing good. No, 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 don't do good for the things for, do the right things for the Lord. Hallelujah. If God says in heaven, in heaven, in Jesus' name, don't do your imagination, don't do your, bring your right feelings, uh, don't give your education, don't give your qualification, don't see the, you know, painful thing and say, it is good, it is good, it is good. It is not good. We lost the destiny. Very serious we don't understand because God does not correct immediately. We don't understand because God is not involved in our daily of the We think that way. But God is involved in your efforts 24 7, I tell you, in Jesus' name, if you are the child of God. Don't do good things. Do the right things. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I finish with this. We take wrong decisions, but we don't take bad decisions. You get the point? Wrong and bad is totally different. Hey, not going to the church is wrong. I mean, bad decision. But coming to the church and do what you want is wrong. Am I reaching? Many times, hey, this is bad, we don't do. But you don't understand what is wrong with that. Again, I tell you, I give the example, same song. Song 13. Bad is not. Is ready for the uh, uh, war, Philistines war. And Samuel said, hey, wait seven days, uh, I'll come there. And he waited seven days, and Samuel got delayed, and he took a nation. It's not a bad nation, it's a wrong nation. Oh, come on, church, come on. Something powerful the Lord is speaking. It's not bad. Samuel, I waited for you seven days. You did not come, so I took a nation. But he says, no, 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 that is a wrong nation. Hallelujah. It's not a bad nation. People are saying, that is nothing bad. Hey, Samuel didn't come. But it's bad unto the Lord who created everything for Saul. So, and thereby you reap the consequences. So your consequences and your destiny will go not because you do bad things, not because you go good things, because you don't do right things and right dishes. And then it's great. People, give a thought. Give a thought. Your marriage is so, so important. Your family life is so, so important. Your relationship is so, so important. Your business is so, so important. In all these things, it is you to make a break. It's not God, I tell you, in Jesus. Because it's everything there. Do not work with unbelievers. That's a principle. And in the business, a life partner, or something else. Love your God with all your heart and all the environment. That's a principle. So you will reap. That's a principle. Don't cheat God. That's a principle. Don't rob God. That's a principle. So when you break the principles, because you are doing the right, the good thing, but not the right things. Hallelujah. May God speak to you this morning. In Jesus' name, and pronounce the blessing. God upon everyone, especially those who are watching this. I pray and I, I release this anointing of obedience to you. Obedience creates an atmosphere, obedience creates a survival uh, uh, capacity, and obedience creates a resource that God can keep you forever. In Jesus' name.